What if the vacuum cleaner in your house was once laughed at by 5,000 companies? In the 1970s, a British man named James Dyson bought a regular vacuum. But it clogged. Over and over. He was frustrated. Then, one day, he visited a sawmill and noticed something strange. They used cyclonic separation to remove dust without filters. What if? A vacuum could do the same. He went home and started building, in a shed, with no funding. 5,127 prototypes. That's how many he built before it finally worked. A bagless vacuum cleaner. No loss of suction, no filters to replace, just raw engineering. But no one wanted it. 5,000 companies rejected him. They said, consumers love bags. It's too weird. So Dyson said, fine, I'll sell it myself. In 1993, he launched the Dyson DC-1. It was bold, transparent, different. And within two years, it became the number one vacuum in the UK. But Dyson didn't stop there. He created bladeless fans, hair dryers with air jet engines, air purifiers that look like sculptures. Today, James Dyson is worth over $20 billion. His company invests more in engineering than marketing. Why? Because Dyson didn't just clean carpets. He cleaned out old thinking and proved that obsession can build an empire.